Greetings coding maestros, Krishna Sharma here from Credit and today we are dabbling into the heartbeat of JavaScript. So what is the heartbeat? Functions. Functions are like the magical spells that bringing our code to life. Encapsulating tasks and enabling reusability, in this video we will unveil the mysteries of functions. So you are excited, so just comment it out. From their antinomy to their powerful capabilities, grab your coding band and let's conjure some functions. So what are functions? A JavaScript function is a block of code designed to perform a particular task. Very concise definition. A JavaScript function is executed when something invokes or call it. So let's take the example of JavaScript function. Functions to compute a product of P1 and P2. So this is very short function to compute a product of P1 and P2. Let's pass two parameters 2 and 3 in the function and take the value in the value variable and print the value. So just you can see this. This is 2 and 3 and we have the output of 6. So this function is computing the product of two parameters. Just comment it out and move to next. JavaScript function syntax. A JavaScript function is defined with the function keyword followed by the name followed by parenthesis. Function's name contain letters, digit, underscore and dollar sign. Same as a variable rules. The parenthesis may include parameter name separated by commas. The code to be executed by function is placed inside curly braces. So functions name parameter, parameter 2, parameter 3. This is a syntax of function. Just function keyword name of function parameter here you can just write the parameters how much you want and here is a code to be executed so this is a syntax of function functions parameter are listed inside the parenthesis in the function definition function arguments are value received by the function when it invoked inside the function the arguments parenthesis behave as local variable so whatever you are here if you making some variables so this variables behave like a local variable you can see this this is a look where one is equal to hello if i print this where one here you can see this this is not print giving the output but if I print this inside the function if I call this function hello you can see this so move to the next topic just comment it out written statement the written statement is a functions way of saying here's the result it's allow function to provide an output value check out this example so this is an example of printing the addition of two function two variable add a and b so returning the addition of two variables just passing two parameters 8 and 4 so output will be 12 sorry i just here have to function add 8 and 4 and there is so, just, so you can see this sum is 12 so in the snippet the add function returning the sum of its parameter and we have captured the result in the sum variable so just comment it out so let's see the amazing example in the amazing example we are going to calculate area of rectangle just comment this out and great username making the functions of creating username and using this function here let area of calc uh, area of rectangle at 10 and 5 the area of rectangle will be length versus breadth and console area of rectangle here great user magical coder let's going to see this this is a hello magic magical coder welcome to coding realm you can see this in this function we are printing this hello plus the name which is passing to the functions parameter so we are we are here passing the magical coder the name will be here 
and welcome to coding reel hello magical coders welcome to the coding reel the output will be this hello magical coders welcome to the coding reel and the next function is you uh, rectangle functions rectangle areas function function to calculate area of rectangle passing the value 10 5 this printing the area of rectangle 50 you can see this this is printing the 50 Congratulations coding heroes, you have just unlocked the secrets of javascript function from their structure to their magical capabilities. Functions are your allies in crafting dynamic and usable code. Now it's your turn to build the power of function in your coding adventure. If you found this function's journey enlightening, hit the like button, subscribe for more coding insight and share your thoughts in the comment below. What javascript topic do you want to explore next? Until then, may your functions be efficient and your code will be interesting. Happy coding.